Well, we've been talking jobs on a very motivational Monday this morning, and I think fashion consultant and stylist Bronwyn Day has the job that millions of women and men would die for. But what does it really take to crack it in the cutthroat world of fashion? And how can you make a career out of your passion? Bronwyn is here today to chat about her very desirable job, and you seem so comfortable in your job, in your skin, in your life. Was this what you wanted to be when you were growing up? Was this always the dream? Yeah, well, I actually was going to study journalism, but then landed up doing marketing and tourism. And after my first year, I realized that I wanted to become a fashion editor. And so I phoned my dad and said, no more studies, rather pay for me to do an internship, uh -huh. which I basically then did for two years. And I worked at magazines, and that was my education. And that was ultimately how I got my first job at Wallpaper magazine in London, and I traveled doing fashion shoots around the world. Wallpaper, so you started yes. a dingy little, like, no-name <laughs> brand. That is incredible. Um, I think the big question on a lot of young, people mind, young yes. people's minds, do I study, do I do an internship? What was the value of doing an internship for you? Well, it, it was hands-on experience. So for me, you know, there was one thing in becoming a fashion designer, and I didn't want to make clothes. I actually wanted to become an editor. You wanted and to judge people. Influ rather, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and influence trends and yeah. sort of tell people how to dress and what looks good and what really is stylish. And so, so the difference for me was, was actually doing two years, working in magazines, getting stuck in, working on shoots, dressing models, going to fashion shows. And, and really getting the, to the heart of it quite quickly. Yeah, no, I think our industry is exactly the same. You learn more on your first day of work than, than otherwise. Now, I think fashion is a beautiful thing because as much as we love to see it and paint it with that superficial breath, brush, yes. it can have a very fundamental effect on people's lives, on their perception of the world, of themselves. What do you love about your job? Oh, I love my job because it's always changing. I work with different people all the time. So I have to follow a brief mostly. And it's quite interesting matching a brief with a budget. It can be quite a challenge. <laughs> and I love sourcing. I get to work with amazing designers, uh, South African talent, um, models, photographers. I love working in a team, producing ideas mm. that are inspiring to people, that people want to look, women especially want to look that way. And and sort of dictating what trends are and what to wear and helping people look their best. Um, and you do a fantastic job at that. Now, you, you mentioned the fact that, um, you know, coming in with budgets is a bit of a challenge. Yes. What has been the most difficult part about carving your career in this path? Um, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication and, and quality. And I think mm. uh, Giorgio Armani said the difference between fashion and style is quality. So for me, it's always bringing the best out in every job that I do, integrity, making sure that from a shop assistant all the way to the client or the model, everybody's treated with the same integrity and that obviously my flair and my creative passion comes out, but within keeping with a brief and, and sort of working well with other people. Um, I think we also love to collaborate. If I can ask you to close mm -hmm. out quickly, if you could meet yes. your younger self, because I would imagine there are a lot of youngsters out there, especially yes. with the tools available to them online, having the media platforms that we yes. do that have suddenly just peaked mm -hmm. now listening to you talk, what advice do you give them? I would say um, really, really stick to, to what it is you're passionate about. I think carving out a career in what you're really passionate about, and if it is fashion and images, then you know, study things that can help you, whether it's journalism to work into mag get into magazines. It is quite tough these days. Um, fashion design, they all can lead into fashion styling. So putting them all together can also work doing short courses, as I said, hands-on experience, assisting a stylist, and really just sticking to your guns. And sometimes you just don't make money and then the doors open up, so yeah. it's a lot of dedication. Follow through. Well, you can see how dedicated you are. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Well, I hope this has inspired you to go out and take that first step, whether it's going to study, whether it's getting an internship. Just act on that motivation. Whatever you want to do, whatever job you want to do, there are ways and people that can help you get to that point. But the first step is taking that first step. Well, we're about to turn lanes now where we stay with fashion at least, but maintaining our fashion once we've made an investment and from a guy's point of view, um, investing in a suit is something that is costly, but something you want to make sure that you protect in the long term.